Hey guys, Grassman here. Playing more Plants vs. Zombies. <sighs> Excuse me. So, we should be roof... Seven... Eight... It's a seven. Right, and this is what we had. So, um, right, so I know the video cut out. I think it cut out at like seven, and then I beat seven, and this is what we got for eight. Now, this is this is only seven. So it cut out for six.
two thirds through. It always sounds a bit more loud than it, I'm sure is. Doomstrom is one of the best guys in the whole game. A high damage AoE attack for pretty cheap. I need 150 more for a coffee bean in the cabin field. So that was seven, here goes eight. So we get to roll for eight, and we get to roll for nine, and that's it. And then we get Zombot, who we don't get to roll for. So four and six. Uh, hang on. Okay, um, it was just pizza. And we got like a complimentary two liter bottle of coke, four liter bottle of coke. I guess it's two liter, not four. You know, the big bottle's a coke, Pepsi. It's Pepsi. Uh, one seven. What do you guys prefer, Pepsi or coke? Four two. Uh, three nine. Colonel pulled good. One and six. Three and ten. One and five. Four and three. So apparently you can like hear this. I didn't know you could hear the rolling the dice. I think I've said that a couple of times now, but it keeps surprising me, like, I'm, I'm hearing the video, and I always hear my voice is so weird, but I can somehow hear the dice rolling a couple of feet away. Okay, so, roll the four. Um, fill it in land properly. Okay, three. So I got, so that's coffee bean, so if I want a coffee bean... So that's useless, replace it with sunflower. So what was it? We can take a sunflower, we can take pot. Three is a, um... We don't have any sleeping things, any mushrooms, eh? So we're gonna have a catapult, sunflower, pots and sunflowers, a catapult, an attacking, a defense, two insta-use, and one useless, and one just 
whatever Marigold is supposed to do. It's a weird plant, it's just kind of something extra you can do for a little bit of extra money. Yeah, I think that's all we can get though. We get an attacking plant, a sun plant, and a pot. And we rolled three, so we don't need we don't need coffee bean. Did I make a rule about attacking plants? I think I think I said I needed like at least one attacking plant. So what was your guys' favorite um, challenge as well? I think my favorite challenge was probably the Death Steel challenge. I think it was the first original idea I had for a challenge. The first one I didn't get from somewhere else. Yeah, I think it was definitely my favorite because it... And it was like it was interesting because you had to you had to kill some you had to get a, a guy killed the lawnmower or a rake right off the bat, and then you had to, and then you could only play one guy at a time, so you'd have to play one guy, have him kill a guy, and then immediately play another one. So it was, sun was a huge problem as well. And it's not even like circumventable with like sun with like um, puff shrooms or something, because just because it's free, it's still a plant, and one use is even. I'm sure I screwed up at least like at least once in that at some point too. I'm pretty sure a couple of times, I like probably twice, I put down a guy when I didn't act, couldn't actually put down a guy, and just missed it, or miscounted or something. And it was probably at least two times I did that. Oh, 
Oh, that's bad. That's fine now. I, d I did draw two insta kills this time, so I should probably use them. Yeah, but let me know in the comments what was your favorite of these challenges. I think I'm, gonna, I think I'm done with the challenges now. Because this was like, this is the last idea I had. So I could do some like mini game stuff. But these videos aren't also aren't like the most popular. Now that I'm doing the Island War stuff, those are more popular. Of course, I can't just do only Island War. So. I probably will still come back to the mini games at some point yet. Because I did say I would save up and do the mini games after. I've actually forgotten some of the challenges I did, though. I did the Death Steal, I did the, you know, Sunflower. I did P only, I did Catapult only in Adventure 2 only. Um. I started playing Greedfall yesterday as well. Thank you for making space. Yeah, Greedfall seems like it's gonna be an interesting game. I didn't even leave the town yet, I just, I, I was like, I'm gonna do all the side quests before I do anything else. Let's see how this game, how this game is. So 10's not gonna be anything, I mean, this is the final level. Let's hope we get good rolls. Two, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Starting off strong. We'll blind him to death. Two, nine. Okay, pot, we need that. Two and five. Okay, that'll help the guards. Four and five. Ugh. One and seven. Oops. Oh, jeez. I'm not. I don't. This isn't a fog level game. Four and three. Oh no. Um. Keep dropping the dice. One and two. Potato mu on the roof. <laughs> Um, does that, I think that actually might work, so I think it might be fine. We already had two seven. Oh dear, three and six. Oh, we don't even have any attacking plants. I mean like a main attacking plant. Four and nine. Wow, thanks game. You know... I was thinking this is gonna be- I was thinking- I was thinking, wow, this is gonna turn out- this is gonna end up being possible without redrawing. We have Pot. We've got Useless Lantern. So the, the first, fourth, fifth, sixth, and eighth plants are all useless. And ninth plant. So we've got- We've got two insta kills. Uh, we've got pot, two insta kills, and one, two, three, four, five, six useless plants. Uh. Well, um. I rolled a one, so that's an imitator. Okay, so. We get a sun plant. We already have pot. We get a sun plant, an attacking plant, an imitator. So what here is the most useless? So 
So a sun plant, an attacking plant, and an imitator. I'm gonna have to take butter. I think it's possible because we because one of the, because I'm allowed to take an attacking plant. I'm rolling the imitator, rolling the one there. I was like, I'm gonna get a two or a three, and it's gonna be coffee bean because I can't even use that. I'm thinking melon. So just to be clear, these bottom four plants and this are what we have, and I guess this one. The top three are useless. And those- and we picked three of those four. Three more of those were useless ones. So this is only possible because I rolled... So you could kind of count this as having lost. It's only possible because I- I was allowed to get... If we can do this without- I could have imitated the kernel pult. So because we rolled imitator, I guess it was possible- I guess it should be possible regardless. But I, I was wondering, are we going to get extremely lucky, lucky or extremely unlucky on the final level? And I'm like, it's going to have to be one or the other, because it's the final level. Okay, so that one, so Potato Mine does for some reason work on the roof. Does it destroy the pot? It should destroy the pot when it, when it blows up. I don't know, though. It probably won't. Doesn't destroy the pot, okay. You know, it's a really good thing I don't say what I think. <laughs> I, I, I kind of spiral think sometimes. Think about one thing, and then what if this, and then... Uh, 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 and I just, I just end up in a spiral. And where my spiral thinking led me a couple of seconds ago was the question, are there girls who are afraid of boys and boys who are afraid of girls? Because there's homophobic people. Are there genderphobic people? And then from that, are there boys who are afraid of boys and girls who are afraid of girls? And by that, are they afraid of themselves as well? Sleep. I need answers. <laughs> I always like, I always think I need to talk more. But then, as soon as I start thinking of what I should say, I end up with the question Are there people who are afraid of their own gender? <laughs> so maybe it's a good idea I don't talk more.
we've got five minutes. I don't think that's going to be quite be enough. Hang on. Okay, sorry. I had to go make sure I wasn't going to lose all this stuff. I was worried for a second. I, was, I had thought, did I delete the last video? Because I've only got room for one video at a time on my phone. So I was thinking, did I delete the last video? And did I just lose all of the footage of, like, the last couple of levels? I can't do that twice in a row. No, it's fine, though. I did. We are going to run out of time, though. So of the cards we drew, we're, we've been we're going to be able to use three. And our main two attackers, the main thing we were doing damage with were both things I had to get because of Imitator and because I was forced to take some sort of attacking plan. Or because I, allow I allowed to, and I kind of had to or I wouldn't be able to, be able be able to win. more. Too bad I couldn't figure out how to use a cleese. There's a PVZ2 mod called a cleese, and it basically just makes the entire game impossible. It just like boosts the difficulty out of. It just completely boosts the difficulty off the charts. And I was watching some people play a cleese. It's kind of, it was it came out in like summer or something. I, was, I watched some people play a cleese, and I'm like. Oh, so I can put the sunflowers in the front, and that's why I put the sunflowers, like, I leave the back back lane open now. One, to protect the sunflowers from things like catapults and diggers. But, two, because it, like, in Eccles, you're pretty much going to take damage. PVZ1 is really easy, and PVZ2 is also, like, in, like quite easy. Or they just start powering up the zombies so they have more health or something. Eccles is basically they just start sending guys sooner, or they make like weird levels, or they only give you a bunch of really weird, a couple of select plants. So they just make all the levels hard for other ways, other than the zombies being too strong, or sending too many. In some levels they send more, and in some they are stronger. But they all include like gimmicks of some sort. So you kind of learn to put the sunflowers in front, so that the sunflowers are getting eaten and not your attacking plants. So they eat your attacking plant, or your defending plant, I should say. They're attacked. The zombies are the ones attacking. If they eat the defending plant, then they just get both sunflowers afterwards anyway. But if they eat the sunflower, the defending plant can still kill it. Okay, so we did just run out of time. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow, I'm going to upload a short tomorrow morning. Um, probably tomorrow at some point. At some point soon, today or tomorrow, I'll upload a short, just a couple minute clip of the end of the challenge. So if you want to see the end of the challenge, like me actually defeating that, beating the finish of that level, um, there'll be a, a short clip coming up tomorrow, out tomorrow. So hope you enjoyed. Remember, if you like my content, feel free to like and subscribe. If you have any ideas for challenge, suggestions for challenges, feel free to let me know in the comments. If you guys want to see more, I'm willing to do more. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.